Well, hey there, everyone. So uh, the other day, I uh, kind of made a commitment that we were going to have the Todd engine operational by September 19th of next year. Preferably on steam, but if we have to, we'll use the electric turning gear. One way or another, we'll have the flywheel spinning um, next year when we have our fall open house. So to that end, that means we have one year to try to get as much stuff done on this as possible to make this engine run. So I've already, since we had our open house last weekend, we've already started tearing back into the engine and uh, taking the high pressure side apart. So let's take a look at the piston valves. All right. So this, uh, this engine has dual piston valves, meaning that you have your steam valve here and exhaust valve down here. Now on like steam locomotives that have piston valves, you handle both steam and exhaust in one valve, but here they separated them. So the valve spools and the uh, rods and all that were taken out a while back. I initially planned to just get some new rings made for the uh, for the valves, but then when we got uh, when I got all of this off yesterday and started to take a look in here, realized that no, it's going to be a little bit more complicated than that. So first off, take a look here. So this is this is one of the rings right here, and fits fairly nice most of the way around, except for right down there you can just about see that gap and there can't tell on the video very much but right in here it's like worn down quite a bit uh, a little divot in there so if we just put new rings on well every time you got over here um get this lined up steam would pass through there and since we're not going to have a lot of extra steam, you know, <laughs> to play with to begin with, um, that's not going to work. Now, it gets even worse because if you go all the way back here to the very edge, all right, I can feel where this is at. Okay, right there, look at that gap. That, that should be a squared off surface. And uh, it looks like at, at some point, one of the rings got loose and started, it's hard to tell, but started eating away at the valve cage. Every time we'd make a revolution, it would bounce around in there and then chew away at this. So we've, uh, we've lost uh, that that surface, that, that squared off edge that we need. So what that means is that in order to do this job right, these have to be bored out. Um, and uh, if we're gonna do one, we should do both because you can look down here. I don't know what those two lines are for, but they do the same thing. They, they made a pass, they make a passage around the ring which is uh, no bueno for, uh, for a valve. So we're looking into uh, having a uh, machinist come out here with a uh, line, line boring uh, setup and uh, take the heads off the other side, set up a bearing on that end, a bearing on this end, and machine this, and then go down the far end, machine that, and do all four of them hopefully clean them up to, to about the same diameter, all, all four of them. And uh, then we would put the new rings in and uh, true up the uh, grooves in the valves. We will have done as much as we can to get the valves as steam tight as possible. Uh, so this is a little unexpected. Uh, well, I wouldn't say unexpected. It was unhoped for. I had hoped that these uh, bores would be in a little better shape than they're in, but 
well, it is what it is, and uh, I kind of had in the back of my mind that something like this was going to happen when we tore this thing apart. So uh, we've made provisions to do it. Fortunately, I have, you know, the right people, and we have plenty of time and all that to uh, to get this done. Uh, so that's uh, that's something that we're going to be doing here in the not too distant future. So I will be sure to take some videos of that as we uh, as we progress on that project. Um, maybe even some action videos, not just me here talking about stuff. Um, I'll just take a little look inside the uh, the 34 inch bore there. That's I think that's one of the packing rings. So all of this here, this is going to come off. Uh, that'll be replaced when we when we make the new packing cups for the uh, for the cylinder. I'm also going to take the the head off before we do the line boring because if we're going to have that that rig out here and that 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 thing will handle up to a 58 inch diameter cylinder. Uh, we're going to take a look at this and see that uh, we don't actually have to do anything on this as well. I'm hoping I'm hoping that we don't have to and that we can just get by with uh, uh, a little bit of work on the piston, on the groove, and even reuse the same ring. Uh, so we'll, we'll find out, because uh, if we're going to have the equipment here, uh, we might as, well, uh, might as well do it all. All right, so, so yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's a little bit of an additional project that needs to be done. Uh, the next thing we'll do, and we have the crane running, we'll take the reach rods down, um, get those out of the way, and uh, the two back cylinder heads will come off. Take these off, and uh, probably at some point we're also going to take the stack of, uh, of valves down, uh, not only because they need refurbished for one, but if we're in there working on that that cylinder bore, you can stick your head down in the uh, in the steam passage there to to get access to it, which would be handy to have. So, also, let's see. Yeah, this is the crosshead for the for the valves and the front uh, valve covers. Um. So we'll get all these parts put away here and uh, and focus on getting this done. Um, so yeah, this is uh, it, 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 it's, it's going to be kind of interesting. I've never been involved with a project like this before and doing a repair like this. So I'm kind of interested to see how this is uh, how this is all going to work out. Um, the uh, the goal is to get the engine, of course, to operate as efficiently as possible and to leak as little steam as possible while running. So we'll see how that works out. <laughs> All right, everyone. So uh, that's what's going on here in Youngstown. Everyone take care.